Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada. In this video, I will take a look at how to use the Avada person element. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to be notified of all new content. Okay, let's begin. The person element is a simple way to add team members to your website. It's essentially a combination of the image, title, text block and social links element in an easy to use interface. It's a bit old school now, and you can easily make a more advanced version of this sort of thing manually using the elements mentioned. For example, if we look at the Avada investment pre-built, they have a couple of different versions of this sort of thing, replete with fancy loading effects and mouse over effects. But if you want a quick and simple way to add a staff profile with social links to your site, this element will do that job. Let's have a look at these ones that have been added to the about page of the science pre-built. Looking at the navigator, we can see that these are all one-third columns with the person element inside. If the image is big enough, we could simply resize these columns to be one half or whatever we prefer. For instance, you could use this to highlight certain members. Let's say this team has just grown by two members and that these first two are the leaders. If I just clone Ethel a few times for the new staff members and then make the columns of the first two to half size, you can see how versatile this element is. OK, let's edit one of these to check out the options. The element has a General tab, a Design tab and an Extras tab. Let's start with the General tab. The first two fields are for a name and a title. If you're not so formal, you can just leave the title field empty. Under this is the Profile Description. You can add whatever you want here. It doesn't have an editor for this field, but it can take HTML code. Once you have your description sorted, it's time to add an image. For best results, it should be at least as wide as the width of your chosen column. In this example, the images are 800 pixels, so they are definitely big enough for one half columns. Under the picture option is an option for a picture link URL. There is also a link target option for controlling the link. You could use this to link to a specific resume page of the person or whatever works for your site. Then we move on to the social media options. The first option is the social icons position. By default, they are set to the bottom in this pre-built, but you can set them to the top of the content area to the right of their name. This doesn't work so well in small columns, but it would work fine in columns this size. In this case though, I'll set it back to the default. To change any of the global defaults, you can just click on any of the element cog icons. This takes you to the person element global defaults, where you can change any of the defaults to suit your style. OK, let's go back to the element options. Next comes all the social link fields. If you populate these with links, they will appear in the element as an icon. As you can see here, there are dummy links in the Facebook, LinkedIn and X fields. Just add a link and the icon will show up. At the bottom of these is an option for an email address and phone number icon. And finally, a show custom socials icon option, if you have made custom social icons you wish to show. See the provided link for more information on how to make custom social icons. The final option on this tab are Element Visibility, which allows you to show or hide this element on various screen sizes, and the CSS Class and CSS ID options, which allow for further customization with custom CSS. Let's now look at the Design tab. The first option here is a Margin option, which is for the element as a whole. Then comes a range of options for styling the picture. To start, there is the Picture Style type. You can choose from Glow, Drop Shadow, or Bottom Shadow. The option below this allows you to choose the colour for the selected picture style. Here I will just leave this one as is with no picture style. The next option is picture border size. By default this is set to zero, but if you set a border size you will also get a border colour option. A one pixel border of colour 4 looks ok here, and you can increase the border all the way to 50 if you like. I'll just set this back to zero. The next option is for a picture border radius. With this you can add a border radius to your image. Again, I will leave this empty. The next option is Hover Type. You can choose from None, Zoom In, Zoom Out and Lift Up. I think Zoom In looks good with this element. OK, after this we have Background Color, and this is referring to the content area. By default it's Color 1 here, and that's perfect considering the container has a subtle background color. The Content Alignment option is next, and with this we have the usual options of Left, Center and Right. Left is the default. Social Icon Tooltip Position is the next option, 
which allows you to position the tooltip in any one of five positions or get rid of it entirely. Here they are set to the default of top. Boxed social icons is the next option and boxed is on by default here which I like. The option under this is social icon box radius but again I think I will leave these square. Social icon color type is the last option on the design tab and this allows you to choose brand or custom colors for the social icons. You can set these custom colors in the global options by clicking on the cog icon in the options here. I'm going to leave these at brand colors. Okay the last tab is the extras tab and this allows you to set element animation. Please see the linked video for more details on this feature which is common to most elements. Okay that's the person element. It's quick and easy to configure and provides a good range of options. Check it out. Okay that's it for this video. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos. And if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.